Why is it a bad idea to turn your steering wheel all the way while the car's not moving? It mostly comes down to how the steering system works. Modern cars use electric power steering, and the rack is hooked up to the suspension through tie rods. Both sides are the same length, so the wheels turn evenly. There's also a steering column that connects the wheel to the rack. It uses a universal joint to transfer the motion. Once the chassis is mounted to the body, the top of the steering rack connects to the column. So when you turn the wheel, you're really spinning the column, which then moves the rack to steer the car. Before that happens, the steering column has to be centered. That's why the wheel has a center mark. You just line it up with the one on the column. Once those marks are aligned, you tighten the bolts and install the airbag. That finishes the whole steering setup. Now here's something a lot of people overlook, the steering ratio. That tells you how much you have to turn the wheel for the tires to actually move. In a regular car, it takes about two full turns to go from lock to lock. In a race car, it takes just one. Race cars need fast, accurate steering. Daily drivers are tuned to feel light and easy. Most passenger cars have a steering ratio between 16 to 1 and 18 to 1, so if you turn the wheel 120 degrees, the tires only turn about 8. That's why the steering can feel a little loose. Electric power steering adjusts based on your turning speed and how fast the car is moving, but if you crank the wheel all the way while stopped, there's no movement to help. That puts stress on the parts. Do it too often and you could wear out the system, 